Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have John 1, 2, and 3. He, the Word, and the one who we know as Jesus, was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that had been made. Yeah, so basically... Jesus was there in the beginning with God as God created all of earth. So, yeah, may God be with me this year. So I'm super excited to podcast. Um, I've been keeping a secret, and I went and did it this weekend. Didn't tell anybody. Roommate went with me. Um, the only person that knew until the deed was done. So I'm super excited. Um, new year, new adventure new uh prospects so what have i been working on i've made three pickles and i don't know how many worry worms six or seven worry worms that are over there getting ready to get their eyes on them actually i've done the pickles i haven't done the worry worms um I wish i could say that's all i'm working on uh i frogged the yellow thing so there's nothing to show you there um, yeah, other than that, it's the new thing, and I, I shouldn't be like a child like this, but I am. Okay, so, what did I do? Oh, my word, no, um, I did this, okay, and I actually set up the camera so that I can move this around, so this might not be the best video I've ever done, as y'all know, as I move things around. It's horrible. So I did this. <laughs> and the glare off that light is not helping. So, um, yeah. All right. Now, I'm hoping to be able to show y'all some things. Um, I didn't just go and haphazardly uh, get a new machine. Um, one of the things that I wanted was an embroidery machine. Okay, and I did not get best of the best, unfortunately. Um, I don't have that kind of money. They can be thousands of dollars, and yeah, that's not, um, yeah, just not feasible. So, I got this one. It's a brother. Does that surprise you? My surgeon was a brother. My other machine, both my other machines were brothers. One gave my daughter. I still have my old one, but so when I looked into it, brother had made an exclusive package for Walmart with some extra bells and whistles. And I got this whole setup. Um, and I keep in mind, Lee used to work, he retired from Walmart and we still get a 10% discount because he retired. Okay. Lee is RJ's dad. And or the kids' dad, I guess I should say, because Tori too, but y'all don't really know much about Tori. Um, so, uh, yeah, he retired from there, um, and he uh, gets to keep his, we were, I'm sorting through some, some things, I'm sorry. Uh, he gets to keep a 10% discount reward as part of their severance for retirement so all right it had a bunch of things with it that i really liked and um so i got it uh, part of it is the feet and accessories now y'all know that i have some feet and i have accessories but I like the way these are labeled. I don't know if you can see on there. There is a letter J and it tells me which ones so that when I go to do the feet up here, the machine tells me which one of these to put on. Now I know which ones to put on when I'm doing the, um, uh, what do you call it? I don't know if you can see those. I'm trying. There's an N in that one there, right there. See it? Uh, so I know which ones to do when I'm sewing, 
but I don't know which ones to do with embroidery. So that is a plus is that these have feet and these feet are labeled to go with what the machine says. I don't have to guess what feet. So I have it set up for the embroidery, um, which means you can't get to the stitches until I switch this out, which I'll show you. It is a bottom bed, which I like. It has a needle threader, which I love. Um, it's got tension control, um, bobbing up here. Now, the other thing that I like about this one, and, and this is, y'all know I went through a video not too long ago, what my old machine could do. Um, this machine has my devil needle. It can handle double thread. So, <laughs> all of the stitches can be done with double thread. So this machine, and very few machines anymore does double thread. Double thread used to be a beautiful thing that everybody did, you know, and it embellished garments back when garments were made with pride. Now I haven't put that in the machine yet. No, and I got my camera sitting on somebody. But I have played with it with single and the white. So you can't really see it <laughs> because, but I've done some embroidery embellishment here. I've done some here. I didn't make this wide enough. It was, it's just really thin. I don't know if you can see that. But then I did some thicker ones so you guys can see. This right here is two stitches that I broke up because I could do faces with them. I don't know if y'all can see that. Um, there's a white eye there and a white eye there and I literally broke them up and they look like two eyes and I could do eyes and then I played with this and this is a wide thin thin wide and I was just playing with the programming of it um so and this I just did on the thing so I can embellish um I can still sew and make all my stuff plus I can embellish Okay, now the foot that I have up here, let me see, I want to find a little bit better way to do this. Oh, with this thing in the way, you can't really see anything from this. Okay. There we go. Um. So I'm going to have to hold it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the foot that I have on there is an embroidery foot. Um, some of the monogramming does not use that foot, but this one does. And the, um, if you remember, I had bought from my other machine. Let's see where, there it is. This piece right here and that makes it a snap-on so all of these use the snap-on and then that one is actually the little foot for the embroidery so yeah number one that machine has all of that uh it does all of the stuff that my regular one does Okay, just with that. Um, it came with double needles, an extra box of needles, which you guys know, I just gonna have to get some more embroidery needles. Uh, it came with two empty bobbins and three full bobbins. Now, I am going to uh, wind my own, but I've heard a lot of people say that uh, they like the pre-done ones. Um, we'll see. Uh, buttonhole maker. Yes, I forgot to put that one in there. Little thing that. There are two different screwdrivers. There's a little one like this, and there's one like this. And they, I'll show you what you need those for. One is for changing the foot on the machine, and the other one is for the hoop. Um, 
there are three or four different kinds of things to keep the bobbin so I can use different sized bobbins um, with my thread and different this little spacer thing and then of course I have this which I have like four of these for my serger so yeah I need to put all those in there um, came with their famous little cleaning brush haven't had to use that yet seam ripper not really into that a uh, little bit scissors but I am going to I saw this is horrible I saw on YouTube yeah we all know how that world goes right um I saw on YouTube where this lady had these bent ones that actually worked in the hoop better and I probably will pick myself up a pair of those um and then an eyelet punch I am not really sure what I would need this for but I don't even know why it's with this I've got to investigate this but anyway the one thing I like is this all fits in the arm with the sewing part okay so this is the sewing part the other thing is, is while it is pre-programmed it also comes with a foot so that I can do my regular sewing and not have to guess on the button um, you can use the button to start and stop um, regular straight stitch but I'm really 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 into uh, being able to control it with my foot uh, the other thing that you can control with it um, when you do the foot controller uh, is I have a speed uh, thing so I can go oops really slow or fast and this controls the speed of the foot speed so right now I'm just leaving it low because yeah <laughs> I'm not that confident yet um, I literally picked this up just a couple of days ago so um, I have been playing the other thing that it came with and this is a little accessory bag all of that stuff is going to go in my new sewing box that I got for Christmas if you remember um, and then it came with these are just plastic bags came with the thing that uh, the template that helps you center your piece so um, I have one of those and I'm pretty happy with all of that uh, now um, the first thing I did when I got it home and got it unboxed is I didn't break out the embroidery right away um, I did this I played there are I don't know how many different straight stitches I know you can't see them um, but I did straight stitch after straight stitch after straight stitch um, around the edge before I did any of the frou-frou stitches <coughs> but I wanted to be able to make sure that I could make all the projects that I made on this machine and it does so quieter so yeah that's a plus um, I had to teach myself to uh, use the needle threader um, this is a bottom load bottom bot the bobbin bottom load bobbin whoa okay need more coffee I am a little excited so anyway it's a bottom load uh, there was quite a bit of things to investigate to make sure that I could use this machine to sew um, then uh, I put on the embroidery on it's super easy to do which I like um, let's see here if I can around here again let's see uh, okay kind of sort of so this piece slides off and you can't see it and there's no way to get the camera into here but there's a little handle here 
and you just squeeze this little lever thing in and pull it out. And when you do, it disconnects the electronics for the um, embroidery. So basically, that right there is what tells your machine that you're embroidering. And then, you put this back on, and ta-da, it's a sewing machine. And this screen goes back to all the stitches, um, and there really is a lot of stitches. There's five pages of these stitches that you can do. I know you really can't see it with the glare. Um, there's five pages on that one, and each one of these has different ones. Um, you can see it. There we go. Okay, so this right here is all buttonholes. Okay, all those can be done with buttonholes. These are some of the fancy ones I was playing with right in here. There's three pages. Of those fancy ones. Oops. So, yeah, quite a bit of pre programmed in on this machine. Um, I literally wanted to make sure that I could sew all my project bags and stuff on this, um, my clothes, everything. That's, uh, it just is what I want. So, uh, yeah, I would have to change the foot to do these. And the other thing that it tells me is, um, so it tells me what needle to use and what foot to use. It tells you, um, oh, let me see that. so right here. Over here to the side, it's got the ballpoint needle, and it's got J, and it's got one, two, and three, which all look the same to me, but they're not. One is right, two is center, three is left. So, it just moves it over. So, yeah. Anyway, I love playing with these and seeing which does what. Anyway, yeah, there is so many stitches that I have not seen at all. Um, I have not attempted at all, but it did come with, I'm sorry, I left it over there. It came with this book. <laughs> and yes, it is a book. This is the... Uh, guide for just the embroidery, I think. Yeah, it's all the pre-programmed guide stuff for just the embroidery. Now, keep in mind that any alphabet is going to be 26 letters, you know, so when it says it's got quite a few, it does, but still. Um, it has got a ton of things that are not letters. Okay, so each page has different letters. It can do Japanese. Um, it can put borders around everything. These are all the borders that it comes with. And I know you guys aren't the glare off that light. It is early morning and I have to go to work. I spent a couple of days playing with this, but there is literally a ton of free built-in patterns for this machine. Okay, so uh, it's got the foot controller for the sewing. Um, it's got the, uh, what do you call it? Face for the embroidery. The other um, feature that I like, and I just undid it so I really can't show you, is that I can import um, 
uh, patterns for embroidery with a USB port. Now, this one also has a Wi-Fi connection. I don't have Wi-Fi. I have a hotspot and I cannot make it hook up to my hotspot. <coughs> so, um, we don't use a lot of Wi-Fi. We watch a couple of movies. Um, New Year's, we watched two movies. Um, and we literally have not worked used Wi-Fi. I mean, that's the first time we've sat and watched movies in months. So, um, yeah, we just don't use a lot of Wi-Fi. I have my hotspot, and my hotspot is what I use for uploading to YouTube as well. So, um, yeah. All right. So, I did play around, and, and the first thing that I did was just a small little... Now, this is just a piece of cotton. No, there's no stabilizer. I didn't want to waste a bunch of stuff just learning. Okay, so there is some pucker. It's not very balanced, but... It is what it is, okay? Basically, I only wasted the red and a piece of green material, black green material. So the first thing I did was this was pre-programmed into the machine, okay? And you can see all the little puckers. Uh, and this is just done on cotton, too. So, yeah. You might be able to iron it out. Probably not. So, But the embroidery itself, looked really good and I did not do any color changes so this pattern right here had three colors I just hit the start button on every one of them and had it done in white um so yeah I did that and then I played with um let me see and I hooked this up so you guys could kind of see that it doesn't pucker as much when it's hooked up you can see this but this stable stabilizer isn't back here so then I played with Macy's name oh, oh I'm sorry I could monogram things then I got into I'm gonna take this off now that you guys see it it's not as puckered as what I mean I wouldn't do a, a bag or anything without stabilized but I was just playing to see what I can do you know all right and of course the machine also came with this hoop which I'm gonna look into getting an adjustable hoop because I might be able to do a few more things with it that I think I need to all right and then so I did the little one then I decided I'm gonna do a big one and I did this one um yeah it's pretty cool it's a little sewing machine and it's got the thread again this was supposed to be multiple colors and I have not done color changes yet okay so um, yeah so I played with that and I was like okay I can sew with it right I've got all my fancy um, stitches and all that stuff and I'm I'm good to go I can sew with this so I can do everything that the machine that I can read in the book to do. The only thing I hadn't done is import the machine. Now this is where I ran into trouble. Okay, and it took me quite a bit to figure out if you don't have Wi-Fi, this machine can be a booger to update because there's no instructions for it. They want you to connect to Wi-Fi, connect to Wi-Fi. So finally, I found it one place, and I believe it was on the brother support thing. I couldn't find it in the book. I couldn't find it, you know, wherever. But to update without Wi-Fi, I finally found it. I had to download the thing to my laptop, put it in this, put it here. And you have to push the needle down button while turning it on. That's the step I could not find. I didn't know how to make it update. So I had it downloaded. I had it on this. And I was like, how do I get it in there? It took me literally a couple of hours to figure out where that information was. Finally found it on the brother support thing. And 
I don't know if I just missed it in the book or if it's so small, but everything on this machine is, is geared towards they want you to use the Wi-Fi. It's the one thing I don't have. But that also means that this machine won't have to be updated. It is, it will last me years because if I want to uh, get more savvy, I can get stuff Wi-Fi wise and put it on. Now they also have an app and I did download the app. Um, again, no Wi-Fi, so it doesn't connect, but they've got this little, I don't know what it's called. Uh, do, do, do. Waiting. It's actually an, a brother app. Oops, sorry. And it comes up and it's, what is this thing called? Can't remember. But it has oops, all kinds of free uh, patterns as well. Now, the only thing I have to do because I don't have Wi-Fi um, is figure out how to get them from my phone to my machine. So if I go into this and do, you know, something, I think I can save it to my phone. I have not played with this. Okay. I think I can save it to my phone. And then how I take pictures off my phone is connected to my laptop. So I think I might be able to do that as long as I save it in a, a PCS or PSE file. I don't know. Save it in the right kind of file and it'll do right. <laughs> anyway, so while I'm messing with all of that, I figured out how to update my machine. Ooh. Now that it is updated, um, I, because I tried doing the USB thing without the update and it didn't, it just kept saying that the file couldn't be read, file couldn't be read, file couldn't be read. So once I updated, then I could download, um, then I could get it to see my files and all that. And I imported this free little horse guy and I've already found one, um, embroidery place that it has so many patterns. And the one thing that I read online was to keep all of your patterns in the same place because that way if something goes wrong and you have to re-download you don't have to wonder where you purchased it from so ibroidery it's not embroidery it's ibroidery designs they have a ton of free ones they have literally hundreds of thousands um so I can't remember. I put in fishing and there was 730,886 results of something that had to do with fishing. Um, yeah, they allow you to take three, um, uh, sorry, it's doing a little early thing. They allow you to take three free a week. Okay. Um, without any purchases, then if you make a purchase, you get extra free run ones with it. So you can download, I think $35 gets you six more. And then there's anything over such amount gets you nine more. So, and it has everything. So I looked the fishing, the boating and all that for, uh, roommate the cat broken here's one that's cat and dogs um the cat i got the horse one here barrel racing uh I, there's turn and burns on there which is barrel racing and it's normally got a picture of a barrel racer going around a barrel and it'll say turn and burn um it's referring to the last barrel when you you know they want you to leave a trail of dust as you go back to complete it 
uh, then it had calf roping ones, all reasonably priced. Uh, for my daughter, there was like lots of dogs and cats. Um, there was horses. There was the only thing I did not look, and this is shame on me. I didn't look to see if they had any knitting or crocheting or sewing embellishments. <laughs> Haven't gotten that far, but I'm assuming with the ton of results that happened, I think this is going to be my go-to because it's where I got that one. I could import them. Um, I got it to do what I needed it to do. And, um, uh, there's quite a few, um, animals, there's goats, there's sheep, there's, um, Easter ones. So there's whole, we, uh, there's flags, there's everything. You can tell I stayed up late last night doing this. But anyway, so, and two of these are on the right side. And you can tell here, this is my big mess up when I was first importing. Um, well, I guess you can't tell. But see the, yeah, I messed it up first. But then, I made that. And so, I am super happy with that. But like I said, I, um, played with it and basically, I hate to say this, but there's not really any good videos that they're all very generic. Let's just put it that way. Um, you do this and you put this in here and this should work with, for all machines. They don't tell you if your machine is not updated. When you first get out of the box, you're not going to be able to import anything. So, while I do believe the uh, Wi-Fi compatible is a plus, for me, it kind of hampered me a little bit. But I wanted one that could be used in the future, okay? Uh, my daughter has Wi-Fi, so if I go to her house and I set this up, I can update everything. I can do all the things and her and I can just have a sewing day and you know, I can download all kinds of stuff. So yeah, I can do that. Um, for now, me and my little USB stick. And I had gotten another one and I started to think because the computer couldn't always see it and this couldn't always see it. I think it was actually because I tried to update on it first and the machine wouldn't see it. I think that um, USB thing is stick is bad. So yeah, that took a little time too. Anyway, so this is getting a little long. I am rambling. I am super excited with this. Uh, and I hope that you guys will continue to follow me into the new year and see what this journey holds. Um, I do have some plans for some things and pretty much I'm going to embellish pieces of fabric that are going to be made into personal stuff for people. So, um, yeah, we'll see what projects I come up with and what I get into. Um, for the most part, I am just super happy that I've updated my machine. Um, my other machine was 20 years old. Yeah, actually, oh, it's older than that. It's almost 30 years old. So anyway, it was time. It was time. Um, that's how I spent my New Year's Day. I hope that all of you had an amazing day. And I hope that you are as optimistic about the new year as I am. Um, I'm praying that this year there's no turning back. Oh. Um, we're gonna just, yeah, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get some stuff done. And this is gonna be an amazing year for the family. And all of you, I consider you all my family. So, um, yeah, you guys have a great week. I will see you next week and hopefully 
I'll either figure new stuff out or I'll have some projects. Um, I am going to Hobby Lobby. I got a little gift card at Christmas. <laughs> and the person giving it did not know that I was doing this. So, yeah, I got a little gift card. I'm going to get some stabilizer. I'm going to get some things, some fabric. Yeah, it's all going to be out of embroidery. No, it's not. Um, I'm going to learn to embellish what I make so that it's very personal to the person that I give it to. That is my goal. Okay. Uh, other than that, you guys have a great week. Thank you for joining me on my journey. Happy New Year and many, many, many blessings to come. Thanks for watching. Bye.